He has his very own officially sponsored YouTube channel and produced some popular videos such as The Sexy Sax Man and Dog Step, a couple that you might recognize, and the brand new one, Kill the Noise Part 1. Let's take a look. Gentlemen, please welcome Mike Diva. What's up, bud? How's it going? How's it going? Nice Have a seat, you. man. Have a seat. So the nice thing about that video is it's set in Los Angeles. You didn't have to do any special effects. That's actually what downtown Los Angeles looks like. Yeah, actually, uh, what a lot of people don't know is it's a documentary about Skid Row, and oh, okay. um, none of yeah. those were actually like altered in any way. Um, so yeah, yeah. yeah I have seen some homeless people that look like that. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's very terrifying. I would be afraid to offend them right now, but they can't afford computers. Well, yeah, exactly. So, so all the homeless people out video. there, I'm sorry, but mm, you're they're probably not going to see this, this video. Let's yeah, face they're it. they're never going to see it. It's all good. <laughs> so that's just one example of some of the videos that you do. You do a lot, I mean you do a, a wide variety, but you definitely do a lot of videos that kind of mix this electronic dubstep music with really high level quality production. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, what, uh, how much time goes into creating a video like this? I mean, this had to take forever. Yeah, uh, this one, I mean since it was a documentary, it didn't take as long, but um, <laughs> this, this one took about like four months in post, and then like when I, you know, getting the concept together and stuff like that. Like that song's very like meticulous. Like it's very like, you know, like for my shot list I had to make like every two seconds there's a different shot and different things yeah. going on. And then to tie in like a storyline was kind of like, you know, a, a, a challenge. But um, so this one overall I'd say took like six months from, you know, from concept to completion. Wow. But it really just depends on, on how many special effects are in the video. It's amazing. Yeah, there's a number of places if you watch the video from start to finish that there's one where there's a zombie on the ground as they drive away in the Durango, and the, the music is actually going with his mouth opening, almost as if he's like groaning like his last breath before he dies. Yeah. Uh, there's some really cool aspects to the video that are like that. Yeah, I, I really feel like a music video should be like a companion piece of the song, and if the, you know, I, I really feel like it should be as good as a song, you know, because in the 90s, like music videos were more like that, and nowadays yeah. it seems like that's kind of dying out. Music videos, like themselves, are kind of a dying art, you know, like yeah. it's kind of like, it's just going to be on YouTube, so like record labels don't want to put much money into it, and people aren't people don't really care that much anymore about like making it really meticulous and like you know like Chris Cunningham's like Apex Twin videos and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So I'm really trying to like bring that back and like really trying to bring the art of the music video back. Awesome, awesome. No, they're all really, really cool. Oh, thanks, man. And so I, I mentioned briefly about how you have a sponsor, you have a sponsored YouTube channel, and your channel is huge. You've got so many views on it, so many subscribers. Uh, your your videos are very popular. You know, what's it like having that relationship with YouTube, that whole kind of like content sharing, the revenue share? I mean, it's a whole business around it. Does this yeah. take like a full-time commitment, like a full-time job? It does. It really does. Like if you want to, um, you know, be successful on YouTube, I'm sure a lot of people have said this before, but um, it's really just consistency. You know, it's just like so people know, hey, you're releasing a video every single Wednesday or every other wow. Wednesday and stuff like that. And like it's really doing that and then juggling like other commercial gigs and music video gigs on the side is right. really, it's really difficult. And um, to be honest, I've actually let my, my channel kind of fall by the wayside when I was making this video. Cause like, really? I was just focusing all my attention, just editing it and doing all the compositing and color grading and stuff like that yeah. frame by frame. So it's like, it's really tough. It's really tough to like keep that up, but also like make your career blossom as well. And like, you know, YouTube's awesome. And I, I love doing videos like with, you know, dogs and cats dancing and like sexy right. sax man and stuff like that. But this is actually, the stuff that I really want to be doing. So it's, it's really definitely like a challenge to, to do both of them at the same time. You know? Awesome, awesome. Now, of course, a lot of, like we've said a million times, your videos are online. Do you remember 
like the very first video that you put up on the internet, like, oh, I'm going to throw a video up on the internet and it's going to be awesome. Do you remember what it was? <laughs> it's really embarrassing, man. Am, okay. I allowed to, am I allowed to use swear words on this? Hell, you can fucking cuss as much as oh. you can. <laughs> I wasn't. You went a little bit too far there. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> but no, um, no. The, the first, the first video I ever did was, um, well, that, that one of the first videos I put online was um, just me fucking around in my room, and like, there's a shot of, um, there's a shot of my, my, my dick with my head on it, basically oh, singing, nice. singing, a singing penis, if you will. Um, yeah. So you know, the Queen it's, of England would have loved it. Oh, she would have loved it. Yeah, exactly. And you, as you can see, I've come well, quite a bit of a long way since then. But well, not, I don't know. Not to know about that. Pretty it's pretty. Awesome. pretty it's pretty fucking cool, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I know Absolutely. you're gonna look it up as soon as you get home. Well, let's face it. I mean, I do have YouTube on my phone. Yeah. So oh, after after this talk, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll go over it. We'll pour we'll, a nice little uh, whiskey coke. And we'll watch it a couple hundred times. Watch your penis sing. I'll say, you know, that's, what I, that's how I, I liked it in my nights, you know. All right. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Mike, awesome. Thanks for sitting down and talking with us.